so it is path tag on enveloping time. Uh, so I got five envelopes here, and a couple of these envelopes are quite thick. So I think I'm going to get a lot of path tags in this one. So I'm just going to try to get right to it and start opening these up and get right to the path tags. All right, so the first one is from Scott. And Scott leaves me a letter like always, so let's read it. Jamie, I found this Frowny Face Society path tag on a travel bug with the public reference number... Mm, I don't want to read that out, but I'll, I'll check that out. Um, its page says, this is a morphing travel bug, which means it is ever-changing. We have started it off with our signature path tag. Each cashier who picks it up can take whatever is on the key ring and replace it with another item. I have I've heard that. I've never I don't think I've ever actually seen one myself though. So there were two path tags. I took their path tag and left your path tag. I think you'll like it. Until next time, Scott. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever ran into anything like that myself. I have heard of that though, where you can I've I've seen travel bugs like that where you can take things off and replace it with something else. Frowny Face Society. Alright, it says Frowny Face Society. There are two sad faces on there. Um, I can't read the bottom. Oh, geocaching since May 2010. That is very neat. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Day this you found this on a travel bug. And um, yeah, I'm cool you swap in mine for one of these. Alright, there we go. The Frowny Face Society pack tag. As always, Scott, thank you so much for adding more and more to my collection. I'm starting to get them organized, and hopefully I will show that off in a future video. All right, so next envelope. Let's see what we got. So the next one, I got a card here with a cute little kitty in an envelope. All right, a special note, a note especially for you. The reading, I can do it. Okay, Woo, all right, letter. Uh, hi, Jamie. Uh, this is my personal path tag. The theme of this tag is my geocaching slash... Path tag name Darkflower07. I created the name by combining my husband's username, an old username of mine, and the day we started dating, March 7th. That's awesome. Uh, the tag was designed by my husband and features seven dark flowers and glows in the dark. Awesome. Uh, I love things that glow in the dark, and we both and we frequently cash at night since we're both busy during the day, so it was fitting. I too like things that glow in the dark. Uh, let's see. I enjoy watching your pad tag videos and seeing all the cool tags people send you. I hope to see this one online at some point. Thanks for trading with me. Florinda, Darkflower07. Uh, yeah, well, what? Yeah, okay, I'm excited. I haven't even seen it yet, but I am excited. Do you have your address on here? I do. Okay, so I will send you one of mine. Uh, I'm excited that it glows in the dark, and thank you for watching my videos. Wow, that is awesome again it's like it's like simplistic but it's so beautiful at the same time I think they did a great I think your, you said your husband right uh, tag was designed by your husband yeah he did a great job I can't draw at all at all and uh, I, I think he did a great job I think your tag turned out awesome I'll let you guys check it out all right I can't wait to check this one out once it glows it's charged and can glow in the dark thanks so much for the trade Alright guys, thanks so much for your pat tag, and I will definitely send you one of mine. Or let's keep moving. Oh, uh, oh, somebody here is a Harry Potter fan. They got the little stamp there. And, uh, I see, I don't want to give away too much their address, but Luna is, is one of their, uh, is their stamp. I'm excited already. Okay, so I got a card, and, uh, three pat tags came out of this envelope in here so that's exciting so I got three I got, already got three pad tags and I, the other ones are still loaded too alright I'm gonna try to read this it's uh, very condensed <laughs> alright let's check this out 818 god it's been I'm really I gotta check my PO box faster uh, hey Jamie thanks so much for your vlogs and the opportunity to get your pad tag you're welcome uh, I have yet to get pad tag made it seems not Nothing short of an act of Congress. <laughs> uh, I have not the time, energy, or patience for such things right now. I, I understand. Um, someday, until then, I have sent you some path tags I received on pathtags.com. These are some of my favorites. The Phoenix Shootout to Fox. I see what you're doing, like, like a Harry Potter theme there, yeah. Um, the, the Daffodil Mandela reminds me of a winter somehow, and the hippie flowers are just pure joy. Okay. 
Uh, I picked the... Oh, I can't read that. I picked the something because... Searched the message boards and found that I could send in a card like this size, no problem. So uh, I have, they are, so here they are. <laughs> okay, it's not about this, a card this size. So I, I think I understand, like, it is easier to send path tags in, like, little cards like this. Just it's one stamp and um, just regular stamp works. Uh, and also, the cheapest way for me to send things overseas, too, is by using, um, like, a card. Okay, uh, where was I? Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, enjoy them. They are well deserved. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I ask. I, oh no, I also saved my soul Ravenclaw something postage stamp for your card. And I did notice that, and I do appreciate it. So thank you very much. Um, I, right, all about the Ravenclaw. Uh, mischief managed. I am. Oh, Mischief Madge, am I right? Okay. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your summer. Thanks again for everything. Oh, Raymond Clotia. Okay. Wow. Thanks so much for sending all these to me. I, do, I have, I, I, you know, I know who you are from, like, Twitter and stuff. So that is awesome. Okay. Um, I, I uh, can't talk. Thank you so much. Uh, I did appreciate the stamp and, like, the little Harry Potter, like, wax seal on the back so that is very cool all right so let's look at these pet tags all right so here is the wow this bird one looks awesome look at that i like how the wings are like spreading around like the outsides of the pet tag uh ended up turning out really really cool god i hope the camera picks up on all the detail all right i think that's focused enough it's a pretty sweet looking pet tag i like this one a lot all right so i believe this is the one that reminds you of pure joy uh, i can see that lots of beautiful colors on here um, and yeah how can you not smile looking at something so colorful like this and happy looking it's like I like how the middle of the flower looks like little suns so that's neat and there's little suns around it I guess I'm I don't know if that's a sun I'm gonna say it's a sun because sun is also happiness to me that is the pet tag of joy right there so this is the one that reminds you of winter hey to each their own I don't even know what I would say this reminds me of but it is I think it's Awesome. I really like the center where it starts to get all crazy. But I like the pattern is awesome. It's very, very cool. I, thanks. I'm, I'm excited to add this one to my collection too. Check out that awesome pattern on this pet tag. So thank you so much, Ravenclaw T. I hope I'm saying that right. That's, that's always how I just always said it when I saw you on Twitter and stuff. And, you know, I always appreciated, like, our, our fondness for Harry Potter and especially Ravenclaw. So that's very, very neat. And thank you so much for sending me pad tags. Uh, yeah, I'll, I would love to send you mine so you have uh, one of mine to, to keep and hang on to. This next one comes all the way from Australia. I already know what's in this one. Um, there was a certain pad tag that I was really excited for. And... Uh, I, I said I wanted, I was like, please, please trade me, uh, because it's nerdy and it's video game related, and, um, I'm a nerd that likes video games. So, th they said they would, but they said, you know, be, due to postage and stuff like that, they, you know, they were like, you got any more you want to trade, just to like, so, you know, make it worth their while for a stamp to send so many, because they normally don't trade outside the country, but, and I did, I was like, yeah, I totally got others, so... I sent them several ex others that I had extras of and stuff, and um, so they did too. So I got four here, and uh, let's check them out. All right, I'm going to save the one that I specifically wanted for last, but uh, this guy had a bunch of dragon uh, themed pet tags, and I think dragons are awesome because I like, you know, fantasy is such a cool realm. Uh, so I was like, yeah, definitely trade you whatever pat tags you want for some dragon ones. So check these out. There is one of the dragon pat tags. There's another one of his dragon pat tags. And there we go. There's the last of his dragon pat tags. Okay, so this is the one I wanted. <laughs> and again, it's purely nerdy reasons why I wanted it. Uh, just a quick explanation. Uh, if anybody ever remembers the video game Zero Wing, Whenever it came to America from Japan, the English translation was so bad 
and there's one of the, the lines in the game where it says, all your base are belong to us. I hope I'm quoting that right. But either way, it was just, it was, it was just butchered, right? <laughs> it was bad translation, so it became like an, an internet meme and all this stuff. And this guy in Australia made a path tag that says, All your tag are belong to us. And I was like, Yes, that is great. I love the play off the uh, bad tra uh, translation. <laughs> so I was like, Please trade me. And he did, like I said, with the others. But it's cool. I got it now. It's, and it's just, it is the character from the video game and everything. When you watch and you play the video game, you see this guy, and below him is the text that's butchered and really bad. So, anyway, here you go. Alright, there is the path tag play off of the game Zero Wing. I've actually never played the video game, but I'm very familiar with that, that internet meme that, for, from it, so I had to have it. Alright, so we got another one from Canada. Oh, I recognize this name. I recognize this name. Alright, so let's get to opening these. Uh, yeah, so anyway, Sandy has made my path tag for me. Uh, if you guys were curious about maybe getting your own path tag made, uh, you, know, you can definitely reach out to her. She's really easy to work with. Um, I believe you go to the Facebook page, just look up Pink Cow Path Tags. God, I feel, I know I'm going to probably butcher it. It's probably like something. Pink Cow Path Tags. I hope that's what you wrote in the card. I always feel like I'm mixing up words in there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, she helps you create the design that you're looking for, and then you just go on pathtags.com and say, bloop, there's the image, make it, and then they make it. And this is awesome because it glitters, and I see it. you got your little logo on it. What is... Kawachan Valley. Uh, is that a real place? I guess I'll have to look and see. Thank you, this is cool. I don't, can you tell that it glitters on the camera? I'm not sure if it picks it up, but it's a glittering pet tag with the cow logo. So Sandy, I'm assuming your geocaching name must be Subax M. Subaxum? I'm probably butchering that. But I see another one of your tags here. It's very, very cool. You got your little cow logo on there with some sparkly flowers. Oh, even the cowbell! glitters. Is that a cowbell? My eyes, my eyes are, I think my eyes are getting worse from looking at all these little, little all the right, small writing on these pad tags. There we go, there's another one of Sandy's pad tags. Alright, so we got, um, what is, is this like a woolly mammoth? Is that what it is? It looks familiar. Like I've seen this in a cartoon before, and I don't know. Who knows, it might not be, just might be something you create off the top of your head. Uh, did you, is this for a mega event? Did you go to a mega? Oh man! I also like the edge that you put on this one. I think next time I have you make me one, we're going to go with maybe a cool edge around it. Maybe. I'm thinking. I don't know what I want to do for my next one. I need to make something, though. That's the one from, I guess, it, I guess you took this to Omega. Turned out pretty good. Okay, and this last one is not a path tag. It's an X tag, which I do have a couple of these. I haven't made an X tag of my own yet, but it is of uh, her logo. Which, I, when I first saw this, it had me curious because when I looked on uh, pathtags.com, I thought, it, like in the newer path tags where you can look to see, you know, what you, who you want to trade with, I, saw, I thought I saw some that weren't actual just circles, so I didn't know if something new was going on. I'll have to keep an eye on That's what I thought this was, but then I see, I see it says X tag on the back. Unless X tag and path tag have combined, I don't, I don't know. But uh, I still think these are neat too. Because uh, you can get a little bit, a little bit more free with the design on these. Check out that cute little cow. All right. Well, I didn't even count how many pad tags I got that time. I mean, I'm, if you're watching the video, obviously, you you know you know. But it was a lot of pad tags just in five envelopes. So very very exciting. Hopefully, I didn't drag this video on for too long. But there was a lot of pad tags, and I very much appreciate everybody that sent me these pad tags. Uh, I'm working on a way to organize them as we speak. I went and bought some stuff. Um, but I still have other ideas of things I want to do with some of them too. Uh, so anyway guys, uh, I love everybody for adding to my path tag collection. I'm so excited to keep it growing. Uh, if you have a path tag and you want to trade me path tags, we can do that. All you have to do is, um, send me your path tag to the address below and if you leave a letter, even better. Uh, if not, that's okay too. But yeah, send me your path tag, tell me where to send it back to and I'll give you one of mine and, um, yeah, your pet tag gets shown on, on a video. So that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because my post office closes really soon and I got some international stuff I need to mail out.
so I need to hurry up and get there before they close. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I love you all so much for adding to my Pad Thai collection and I'm, I'm just still so blown away how much this Pad Thai collection has grown. Um, so yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!